Press release Wait, from they, NASA. They save that little piece of information. Yeah, mm. human and bull sperm. The experiment dubbed Micro <laughs> Eleven aims to learn how reproduction could occur in space and to potentially learn more about sperm that cannot be observed on Earth due to gravity. They're concerned that it may not work. Samples will be space. thawed, given a chemical to activate and observed under a microscope, microscopic camera before being preserved once again for further analysis. Previous research suggests zero gravity could prevent fertilization from happening in space. I don't like this. The Micro 11 experiment <laughs> will use sperm from 12 humans oh, and six bulls. A year from now, a space shuttle is going to land and a bunch of minotaurs are going to walk out. <laughs> <laughs> half man, half uh, bull. Yeah. And, uh, this is one small squirt for men. <laughs> <laughs> one giant wad. for. <laughs> Here's the reason they're using the bull sperm. It's going to be quality control to make sure they're able to detect small changes in both types of sperm. Okay. Uh, so. yeah. okay. That well, makes sense. That's scary, I think. Mm -hmm. Wait, well. uh -oh. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Hey, Mom and Tom, it's Donnie Bates. Well, hey, Donnie. Donnie. Frank, that was the best Norm McDonald's ever, I swear to God. That, that was so good, you should start doing KFC commercials. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, and Nick, I'm sorry you can't use that phrase, see me before I'm dead. Because that's been on Aussie posters for years. They'll <laughs> <laughs> sue your ass. Uh, and that's crazy, Tom, putting sperm eggs in space. Like, what are we trying to do? The Big Bang theories again or something? Yeah. Putting our own baby batter out in the solar systems. That's unchristian. What, what if an astronaut accidentally breaks the beaker of that stuff? Oh. Now you got a bunch of loose sperm eggs on the lam, mm -hmm. floating around the cabin looking like a bunch of weightless albino caviar. What if they can't catch all of them? What if one of them escapes out into the abyss and accidentally impregnates an alien? Oh, man. Oh, Even worse, what if the beaker of bull sperm eggs, if it breaks and impregnates one, now you got to deal with horned aliens. <laughs> Not to mention, that stuff gets loose, it can float forever. That's what space junk does. It goes on forever. Hell, the rings around Saturn look like they got stalactites dripping from them. Oh, so, horns, boy. aliens... Hell, even nature boy Ric Flair's ain't going to win that fight yeah. if we invent them. <laughs> sure. I ain't never launched my sperm eggs into space. In fact, I ain't never been in the Mile High Club before because there ain't enough leg room for me to finish. Oh, That's the fact of mine. <laughs> the highest my sperm's ever been, I'll say it like it's the top of the beast, that roller coaster at Kings Island. Uh -huh. Really? 1994. That's weird. Me and Patty Ferguson, we got stopped. We stuck at the top of it for like two hours, oh. and there's like a power outage or something, so we decided to take advantage of the situation, and everything timed out perfect. The car started rolling again just as I reached my Pikes Peak, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. The workers weren't happy. They tried kicking us out of the park for insidious and quaalude acts. Uh -huh. I was like, well, you only said we had to keep our feet and hands inside the car, Dick. You didn't say anything about our boobs. So oh, boy. They let us off scotch-free from it. Then that next year, um, Remember, Chick, I told you about this. We took the church bus back over again. <laughs> Patty's cousin, the hot oh, one, right. Missy. Yeah, right. And I tried doing it on a different roller coaster, mm -hmm. but it didn't work out as good because this coaster had one of them loop-de-loops in it. Uh-oh. And by the time I was building my beast, we hit the spiral and went against the grain, and I got an air full of my own nutter butter on the way down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Donnie. Oh, well, thank God for them free maps, Josh. I had something to clean it up with. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the clinic, and they diagnosed me with swimmers there. Oh. And since I saved face by blaming it on birds, they comped our appetizers at Hanna-Barbera's that afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine if I told the truth, and it really was like a, a mallard. <laughs> or if I'd taken in the eyes, I'd own that place. Oh, okay. Give me mental anguish, because I swear to God it did. You know, after about two weeks after that, I thought I heard the chipmunks singing Molly Hatchet in my head. You know, they could do every part except the whistle. Hell, I could sue them for tinnitus. Right, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Donnie. That was helpful. Once Boy. again... Uh, how did I know he was going to call? I knew he was going to call. I know. Isn't that weird? I'm There's surprised. certain stories that they're just triggers, and you know he's going to call. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't pronounce any words right, but tinnitus he got. <laughs> <laughs> he's an anomaly, all right, yeah. He is.